Tonight, Channel 2 investigates a Northeast Houston body shop accused of holding cars hostage. The cars go in, but they don't come out for months. I don't know where my car is. I know where I dropped it off. I don't know who has it, and I don't know where it is. Vehicles trash, driven hundreds of miles without permission, and that is just the tip of the iceberg here. Consumer expert Amy Davis went to that business for answers, and, well, let's just say she didn't exactly get a warm welcome. Tonight, she is revealing the results of her hidden camera investigation. What kind of operation? No, 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 no. What kind of operation are you guys running? What's your name? Have a nice day. No, we're not going to have a nice day, sir, because you kept this person's vehicle for six weeks. It's hard to have a nice day when you've got no car and you need to get to work. It's missing. I don't know where it is and I don't know who has it. Maria Gonzalez had 40 consecutive bad days because after she dropped her car off at this repair shop on the East Texas Freeway near Little York in May, she couldn't get it back for six weeks. I just wanted to get to paint it. But a two day job stretched on for weeks. When the owner stopped returning her calls, Maria stopped in to get her 2005 Jeep Liberty painted or unpainted. She wanted it back. I show up to the shop on Saturday. He's not there. My car is nowhere to be found. Gonzalez easy tag account revealed someone drove her Jeep through the ship channel bridge some 16 miles from the shop, but no one would tell her where it was. Even though she already paid the $400 owner Anthony Vasquez said she owed when her boyfriend called to try and work things out, Vasquez raised the price. A thousand dollars for what? Because I want to charge you that for the service I gave you. I can do that, bro. When we heard that, we agreed to wire Gonzalez with a hidden camera and send her back to ask about her vehicle. This time, her Jeep Liberty was parked right out front. Not a lick of new paint anywhere on it. He said that they were almost done, but it looked like they havenn't even started. It'll be done by this weekend. Okay. While Gonzalez was inside demanding her vehicle back, we watched these guys come out, giving her Jeep a lot of attention, looking under floor mats, taking out bags of stuff. What are you doing to that vehicle? Just cleaning it out, ma'am. A whole garbage bag of junk. Flip flops, water, basically nasty blankets. It looks like there was a plant in her car. I'm not sure what any of this has to do with painting her vehicle. And these guys weren't sticking around to fill us in. Why don't you have Anthony call us? Clearly, my car has, was never worked on. My car smells like weed, and there is dog hair everywhere. I don't have a dog. And she now has 500 more miles on her Jeep than when she dropped it off. We do know police have arrested owner Anthony Vasquez eight times for possession of marijuana. His brothers who work here with him, Sean and Adrian G, also have criminal records dating back to the early 90s. And even though Harris County deputies have been called to this shop 71 times since May 2015, mostly by frustrated customers, cops say there isn't anything they can do to Vasquez. Unfortunately, we don't have anything um, that so-called, you know, uh, regulates that industry. So can it's on the consumer to really do their homework. Two weeks after our encounter here, these guys found themselves locked out, evicted from the shop by landlord Mike Findlay. This is this is terrible what they've done to people's vehicles and their possessions. Findlay let Vasquez back inside twice in hopes he would return these vehicles to their rightful owners. The last time I unlocked it without any money, they actually brought in two more vehicles. And now Findlay is left trying to reunite the cars, some still in pieces with their owners. I'm going to tow it to my house then find somebody to work on. If you've had any dealings with Vasquez or his repair shop, if he owes you money or a vehicle, the Harris County District Attorney's Office wants to hear from you. We've posted contact information for that agency on click2houston.com in the consumer section. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.